just fighting to get here. Amen. Amen. So we're just going to come halfway and turn around. Amen. 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 Adrian. Hey, Papa. It says, happy is a man's quiver who's full of them. Uh -huh. I'm happy, I ain't full of them. <laughs> I'm full of them. <laughs> the book of 1 Corinthians, the sixth chapter of 1 Corinthians. Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. I want to deal with some, some terrible things that end up terrific. Are y'all going to pray with me? I'm going to be a lot slower than normal. Amen. Corinthians, the sixth chapter, beginning with verse number nine. I'm going to read you the King James Version first, and then I'm going to break it down. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Don't, 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 don't deceive yourself. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor implement, 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 nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were you, such were some of you, but ye are washed. Yeah, I know you were a little nervous at first, but you can shout. But ye are washed. But ye are sanctified. But ye are justified. In the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God. The English translation says, translation says, or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor the drunkards, nor the revilers, nor the swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of God. Amen. You may be seated. I want to preach for just a little while from the subject, uh, cleaning up for the kingdom. Cleaning up for the kingdom. Many people now are beginning to do what we call spring cleaning. They're cleaning up their house for the spring. They're, they're cleaning out closets and they're dusting and they're doing windows so the spring pollen can put pollen dust where they clean and on the windows. The windows will turn from brown to a light yellow greenish color. Amen. But I want us to think about cleaning up for the kingdom of God. You see, spring cleaning only comes once a season. But cleaning up for the kingdom of God is an everyday thing. Um, the kingdom of God is a place that many people talk about. They desire to go, yet they fail to fully prepare properly for the trip. You see, talk will not walk us there. Did y'all get that? Yeah. Uh, uh, talking about heaven and, and, and singing about heaven and, and preaching about heaven won't get us there. We have to live like heaven to get to heaven. You, 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 can't, you, 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 you can talk about going to California all you want. 
But as long as you're talking about it, you're still being hung. Right. And y'all gonna help me. Right. Um, you see, heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. So uh, this that we're here today is our dress rehearsal, our preparation for getting to the prepared place. Hey, y'all gonna help me. Um, um, Jesus is not delaying his coming because heaven is not ready. Are y'all all right? He, he, he delaying his coming because we are not ready. Yeah. And, and, and I got something to tell you. Somebody says, well, I'm getting ready. As long as you're getting ready, you're not ready. Amen. Um, but the gospel, the gospel is for sinners. The gospel changes sinners. Hello, somebody. Um, the gospel meets us where we are. It, 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 it meets us in our sin, in our serene silence, in our sickness, in our situations, in our solitude. But meet mean that we have to do something too. Yeah, yeah, meets us mean that we have to turn and come part of the way too. Amen. We, we, we like God to come get us when God says, I will meet you. I wish y'all would help me. Yeah, we, we, we don't want to get up and put any effort in it. We want God to do everything. But, but God has already done more than enough for us. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I could close right here. If I didn't want to give y'all my points, I could tell you what he did, how he did it, and why he did it. And then I'd be finished. Amen. But, but he's already done more than enough. God, God, you, 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 you complain to God because you, you got a, a headache, amen, but, but, but he, he suffered more than a headache out there on camera. Are y'all all right? You, you complain to God because you have a bad moment or a bad hour in a whole day. He, he, he had a bad whole day. Yeah, you, you complain to him about aches and pains and he was whooped all night for us. Amen. But 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 the gospel transforms us into what we ought to be. Come on, Second Corinthians five and seventeen, I believe, says that therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. It says old things have passed away; they die. Old things have they're dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and he says, look at them. All things. I become new. Not, not just my hands, not just my feet, but my eyes and, and my ears and my mind and my heart and my spirit. All things have become new. I, 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 I think some of us left out too soon. We, we didn't get all new things. We, we got new hands and they clap. We got new feet and they run but, but we still talking that same old job. We still talking that same old mess. We still thinking that same old way. We still acting that same old way. He says all things have become new. Corinth was a, was a great place for the gospel. It was a great place to reach sinners. It, it was a city where uh, lust was king and immorality was common. It was a place uh, such as our modern day sin city. That's right. That's right. I, I, I don't understand this world. How, how do you have a place that tourists love to go and it's called sin city? Yeah. I, I don't know about you, but I, I would hate to ever be in sin city. I sure enough wouldn't want to be in sin city when he called me home. Are y'all all right? I, 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 Deacon, and not only do I not want to be, I, I'm scared of seeing city. I'm scared of seeing neighborhood. I'm scared of seeing street. I'm scared. Are y'all all right? Because the wages of sin is death. Everything was going on in Corinth at the time. Just like everything is going on in our world at the time. The Apostle Paul, he, he warns them. He says, he says, listen, they had opened up a church in Corinth and, 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 and they, 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 they had professed Christianity as a system of doctrine, but, 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 but not as a rule of life. Make it plain, preacher. In other words, they, they, they had what a whole lot of folk had. They had a whole lot of religion. 
but they didn't have any relationship. Uh, Y'all all right? They, 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 they could quote the scriptures. They could bump you on the head with the Bible. They could tell you what the Bible said, but they didn't live like the Bible said. They, they, they knew the do's and the don'ts, but they did the don'ts and didn't do the do's. Now, y'all gonna help me this morning. And Paul warned them, and Paul warns us. He said, this is a fatal mistake. Do not be deceived. He said, no one that allows himself to indulge in known sin in this life can or will be saved. You don't get anything else. Let me tell you something, Christian people. We cannot run around sinning, knowing we sinning, and expect to be saved. I, I, I don't care how much church you got. I don't care how much Bible you know. Of whom much is given, much is required. If you know better, you got to do better. He who knows to do right but does it not, it is accounted unto him as sin. Must I remind you what the wages of sin is? Uh, both. Uh, this passage proves that Paul and James are in basic agreement. Both affirm that genuine faith produces good works. And that the absence of good works indicates the absence of a saving faith. I want to tell you something. The past, the present, and the future of every Christian is the same. All of us are in the same boat. Our past, our present, and our future if we're Christians, it's all the same. Uh -huh. yeah. My first point I want to do in this scripture is I want to consider the way we were. All right. All right. I want us to look back and look at how we were. Are y'all all right? The Bible says that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Paul here offers an unsavory list of sin and sinners. Uh -huh. It was a list of immoral people. It was a list of dishonest and unruly people. If I was to be quite blunt and transparent with you, some of us, some of all of us, a piece of all of us, somewhere in that list. I, I, gosh, I don't, want, I don't want you to get mad at me. You dress up, you look so nice, you look so holy, you shout so holy, you say amen and hallelujah, so holy. But all of us have made the list. Gosh. And, 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 and we made the list. Gosh, look, look how some of us made the list. We made the list by pointing our fingers at the things that uh, other people did that we didn't do. That put us on the list. You, you, some of us are sitting there saying, oh, I ain't never committed adultery, but oh, how many idols have you had? How, how, how many things have you skipped church to do? I don't know, help me. How many things have you put in front of God? How much overtime did you work and, and, and not come to? I better move on here now. Uh, but no one on Paul's list was fit for heaven. And neither was any of us. Notice what Paul says after he gives the list. And such was some of you. Paul says, I, I, I don't want to discourage you. I don't want to tell you. But, but, but they were pointing their fingers in church. See, you can't help anybody by pointing your finger at them. You, 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 you can't help by pointing. You help by praying. All right. And I, 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 and I, 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 I got to tell people something. I, I don't, I, I, listen, I, I don't need people to pray for me. I need people to pray with me. So stop saying, Pastor, pray for me and say, Pastor, pray with me. Because if I'm praying for you and you're not praying, it ain't going to work. Because, because although the prayers of the righteous are barely much, uh, faith is the key. Uh, Y'all all right? The prayer, is the prayer is the key. Faith unlocks the door. You, you got to have faith. And if I'm praying in faith, but you don't have the faith, you can't get your healing, not because of my prayer, but because of the lack of your faith. So don't pray for me. Pray with me. Because if I'm not praying for myself, then you just wasted your breath. Can I move on here now? What causes? What causes? heaven-bound Christians, every heaven-bound Christian was once 
a hellbound sinner. I'm sorry. I, I know this sermon is going to knock us off our high horse. Because we've been saved so long until we forgot that we used to be unsaved. But, but listen, we, we, we can't be so heavenly high holy until we just act like we come home on Sunday to go to church. We can't be so heavenly high holy until we know earthly good. Amen. Uh, uh, but, 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 but this proves that all are lost until God saves us. No one was born going to heaven. <laughs> um, but, but what caused this change of destination for us once lost ones? Well, one writer says it this way. You could just say it so eloquently. I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to get out your way. How did I make it? Uh -huh. All these years. How did I make it this far? Through the valleys and over the hills. I know it had to be God. How did I make it? Through the storm? How did I make it through the rain? If you want to know just how I got here. It's so easy to explain. Now y'all going to help me. It was God's grace. His amazing grace that I made it this far. It's by the grace of God that I'm here. Uh, he says that some people say they said I wouldn't make it. Some people said I wouldn't be here today. But the writer says, but look at me. Look at me. I made it this far. You ought to be praising him right now. You ought to tell your neighbor, I'm not here on the gas in my car. I'm not here because I've been so good. I'm not here because I kept the word so perfect. I'm not here because I got a good job. I'm not here because I'm in good shape. I'm not here because I eat so healthy. I'm here by the grace of God. You ought to tell the Lord I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you because you kept me, and I, I thank you because you never left me. I thank you because you got me right now. And if it had not been for the Lord on my side, God's grace rescues sinners and changes us. So consider the way we were. I want us to consider now the way we are. Where are we? I'm glad that Paul didn't leave us how we used to be. Y'all gonna help me close here now. Uh, you know how I was. I was low down. I was no good. And I was on my way to hell. Can I tell you something so you won't be looking at me all crazy? You too were low down. You were no good. And you were on your way to hell. But God, I need somebody. I need somebody that can say that I'm not what I used to be. I ain't what I ought to be. But please, be patient with me. Because God, he's not through with me yet. Are y'all all right? He's brought me a mighty long way. But mother, he didn't bring me this far to just drop me off. Are y'all gonna help me here now? I know you consider how I was. Oh, but just look at me now. But don't look real good. Cause I still got some spots and blemishes. Consider the way I am. How are you wearing? Edie, I'm washed. You see, uh, we were made clean by the blood of Jesus Christ. I heard John say, I believe in Revelations 1 and 5. He said, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead. He is the prince and the ruler of the kings of the earth. Unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. So how am I now? I'm washed, not only by the blood, 
but I'm washed by the water of the word. Now y'all gonna help me here now. Can you hear Paul talking to the church at Ephesus? And can you hear him talking to all the married men? Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church. How much did he love the church? He loved them so much until he gave himself for it. Why did he do it? That he might sanctify it. That he might set apart and, and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. Why is he going to do that? That he might present it to himself. A glorious church. Not having spot and not having wrinkle of any such thing. But that it shall be holy and without blemish. Are y'all going to help me here now? So how am I now? I'm washed in the blood, and I'm washed in the water of the world. Not only that, I'm sanctified. I've been set apart for divine service in the Lord, all right. You see, he didn't wash me with his blood for me to be still. He didn't wash me with the word for me to shut my mouth. He didn't wash you for you to sit on pews and keep your mouth shut in the Lord, all right. I need to talk to some blessed people that know they're blessed. I need to talk to some blessed people that not only know they're blessed, but they want the world to know that if it had not been for the Lord on their side, they don't know where they would be. I need to talk to some people that understand every day won't be sunny, but the sun will rise in every day. Did the Lord to talk to some people that understand even when the S-U-N ain't shining oh the S-O-N is shining real bright I wish y'all would help me close him now I've been sanctified I've been set aside therefore being justified by faith we have peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ by whom also we have access by by faith unto grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. If you want to know how I'm still standing, I'm standing on the grace and mercy of God in the Lord. I've been knocked down a few times, but every time I get knocked down, grace reached down and mercy picked me up. Get the Lord, alright. I gotta get out of here now. Somebody said, Where You've been going through a lot of things, boy. But I realized something. Even my trials, they just contribute to my purpose. With the Lord, alright. He told me that he's got to find out all my wrinkles in the Lord, all right. I don't know about y'all, but when my shirt is wrinkled, a cold line won't fix it in the Lord, all right. Then I got to heat up to the right temperature to knock the wrinkles out in the Lord, all right. So while you're looking at me, my trials are just mine. mine with the Lord, all right. So what are you saying, weary? I'm not worried because I know where I am right now. Let me consider where I am. I'm in the midst of some trials and tribulation, but oh, I have my joy and I have my peace. How do you have your joy and peace, weary? And we know that all things Y'all gon' help me work together for the good of them that love God and to them that are called. Are there any called folks in the audience? Called according to his purpose for whom 
Noah, he did for Noah, to him he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. Why did he do it, weary? That he might be the firstborn among the brethren. We're justified, we're declared righteous. This is only possible when Christ finished what he did and we accept the finish. I heard him say out there on that cross, it's finished, it's complete now in the Lord, all right. We consider how we used to be, we consider how we are. As I get ready to take my seat, I want to let you in on another secret. I want you to consider the way we will be in the Lord, all right. I told you earlier, I know I'm not perfect, but please be patient with me. God, he's not through with me yet, but when God gets through with me, I shall come forth as pure gold in the Lord, all right. The only reason I'm here is on his grace in the Lord, all right. I'm going to write a say, amazing grace, how sweet the sound, it sings. A wretch like me I once, I once A long time ago I once was lost But now I'm found But yeah, I'm not found all the way In the Lord, all right I heard that the grace kept me And mercy keep leading me But one of these old days I won't need grace no more I won't need mercy no more I want to tell you Why I work the way I work Why I pray the way I pray Why I keep on fighting the way I keep on fighting One of these old days Capstone gonna be laid Up in Zion The whole building gonna be done In the Lord, all right Somebody wanna know where it why you keep acting like this right now? I have some back pain, but over there, I won't have a back to have any pain. Right now, I got trials and tribulation, but over there, I won't have a trial to bring me tribulation in the Lord, all right? Right now, I have some sleepless nights, but over there, it won't be a night to get any sleep. I wish y'all could help me. You want to know why I act the way I am. I'm not in the now. I'm in the over there. On the other side, I told y'all earlier, I got a Jesus over yonder. I'm on my way to feed him over yonder. I heard John say, Beloved, now we are the sons of God and do not yet appear, but we shall be. But one of these old days, we'll know him and we shall appear and we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is in the Lord. All right, I got to go right now. Can I go like this? I heard the writer say, Behold, I'll show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we all shall be changed in a moment and a twinkling of an eye. That trump shall sound when it sounds dead shall be raised incorruptible. We shall all be changed for the corruptible must put on incorruption. Incorruptible now, but sooner or later I'm gonna be incorruptible. The mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and when this mortal shall have Put on immortality. I wish I had some Bible reels. Then shall be brought to pass that old saying that's written. Death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, oh, death, where is my sting? Oh, brave, 
declares thy victory. The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. The things, the things, I need some hallelujahs in the house. The things, the things, I need some thankful folk in the house. Thank you, Lord, that you didn't let me perish in my low down. Thank you, Lord, that you delivered me from my own wrong. Thank you, Lord, that you didn't let me get what I deserve. Thank you, Lord, for things be the God which gives us the victory through Christ Jesus. Therefore, my beloved brother in be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Why we're for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain. It's in the Lord. Can I get out of here now? Who is this Lord? Do you know him? He's Alpha and Omega. He's the anointed one, the captain of the host, the coming one, the mediator between God and man. He's just and the righteous one. He's the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Do you not know him? He's the bright and morning star. He's the lily in the valley. Let me make it personal. He's somebody's bill payer. He's somebody's doctor. He's somebody's lawyer. He's somebody's daddy. Somebody's mama. Somebody's best friend. He is a good God. If you still don't know him, I heard Adam say, He's my redeemer. I heard Abel say, He's my vindicator. He's Noah's ark. Abraham's sacrifice. Moses' bush. Josiah. Joshua's battle axe. Gideon's fleas. Samson's power. David's music. Solomon's wisdom. Jeremiah's bomb. And Gilead. Take your wheel in the middle of the wheel. I have got happy now because we and Joe know who he is. Who is he, Joe? He's my horse. Call in the valley. He's my bridge. Roll the trouble water. He's my midnight rider. He's my heavy load carrier. My burden bearer. He's my joy. In the midst of sorrow, he's my hope for tomorrow. He's my peace that passes all understanding. He's my rocker to sleep at night. He's my toucher to wake me in the morning. He's my all and all. He's Mary's baby boy. Joseph steps on. He's the one that came down. Forty and two generations. Stopped on a little island. Bethlehem to be born of a virgin. Laid in a manger. They wrapped him in swollen cloth. Do you know him? Eight days old. Circumcised. Twelve years old. In the temple. Thirty years old. Baptized by John. Thirty-three years old. Tell you how much you love me. When marching.
so clear. The mansions are high before the sky. I'll be in that way. So this whole land, where you're going, where I'm going to a place where the thunder don't roar. I'm going to a place where the lamb and the lion play together. I'm going to a place where every day it's going to be Sunday and the sweet Sabbath has no meaning. You get there where it's I mean the west side the mountains taking my way in the world of the land and the alright I know I know my road gonna fit me well I'll catch me on down here to get to heaven over there why where it Every day, I'm going to be howdy, 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 all power, mind power, heart power, spirit power, cleansing power. Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God? Believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many men. If it were not so, I would have told you. He says, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go, I will come again. I'm coming back. I stopped by here today. I'm waiting on Jesus. He said he's coming back. And this life, what I'm doing is I'm seeking where he's coming. He says, I'm coming back. That where I am, you may be also. I'm coming to receive you to myself. And one writer says that, behold, I'll show you a mystery. We ain't going to all be seen. He talked about that we're going to be caught up. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Then those of us that's left over, we're we going to be caught up. Caught up in the air. To meet it. See, even then, we got to do something. Yeah, we got to meet him. Yeah, so. So I got, got one more river to cross. My mother, she'll be there. She won't be able to help me cross. Dad, he'll be there. He won't help me cross. He'll, he'll be there. He'll ain't gonna be able to help us cross. You won't be calling me serving the pastor over there. But Jesus. I want to talk to somebody that won't. Jesus, the one, the one that's there at the midnight hour. Have you ever noticed she's always there? Yes. Even, 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 even the atheists know he's there. Yes. Yeah, because when something pull out in front of the atheists, they say, oh, Jesus, oh, my Lord. Yes. Because he's always there. He's everywhere present. Oh, yes. But, 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 but we, we need to be cleaning up for the kingdom. The doors of the church are open. The doors of the church are open. 